In this video, I'm going to show you how to download it fast and easy. Disclaimer, you are going to need the game files by buying the game on Steam, but there are ways to get those through other means which I won't be covering in this video. Step 1. Go to the Plutonium website which I have linked in the description of this video, and on the home page, hit the download button to be taken to this page. Step 2. Hit the download button to download the launcher, and once you finish downloading, click the .exe file to launch it. Step 3. If you don't already have an account, I have linked the forum page down below where you can register for a completely free account. Once you have logged in, you'll be on the main page for the Plutonium Launcher. IW5 is Modern Warfare 3, T6 is Black Ops 2, T5 is Black Ops 1, and T4 is World at War. But you can't just start playing the games yet. First, you need to set up the launcher by linking your game path to the game files, which you should already have from Steam. Step 4. Click Setup, or Game Settings in my case because I already have it set up. Then click Select Directory, and then navigate to where the Steam files are. In my case, I will navigate to my C drive, then Program Files 86, I will go to Steam, then Steam Apps, and finally Common. You should see your respective games here. Open the game folder you're linking to, in my case Black Ops 2, and then click Select Folder. You should now be able to launch the game. Step 5. Once you have launched the game, you should see the server browser tab right here. Open it up to see all the available servers running at this time. You can check how many players are in any given server, and once you find a server you like, simply click connect to join it. You can connect your Xbox controller to your PC or simply use your keyboard and mouse if you want. And congratulations, you're playing the game.